We're at the fan jam. Not yet. Fanning and jamming. We're outside. We're outside. Look at this lineup. It's a free event. You get to meet all your favorite wrestlers and us. This is the joke you made yesterday. We're back, baby. So my back. plan is to just vlog everything today and you're gonna end up with a nonsensical amount of vlog footage from my this convention. Vlog, We're gonna vlogging. be meeting and greeting and hopefully you can hear what I say because Veda doesn't vlog over me talking. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, yeah, there's gonna be lots of uh, fun legends from professional wrestling and we all know nothing bad ever happens at these conventions. Heidi, hold on, I gotta, I'm double vlogging this. What the heck? How do you need to vlog it? What? Because we film every moment of our lives because we need attention. We're validated by that. Yeah. Strangers on the internet make us feel good. I only been like once a week on TikTok. You're on TikTok? You're on TikTok? Wait, shout out your TikTok. What's your yeah, TikTok? Yeah, what's your TikTok? Do you want to advertise it? No. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this little baby. Oh, Heidi. So just wow. so everyone knows, it's the exact same scene filmed on That's fine. two different cameras. Matter. <gasps> She's so sweet. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, here you go. Well, you can scratch your head. Wow. Oh, I can't hold two cameras. Grab this. Say hello to Heidi. Oh. Oh. Just so so adorable. Thank you. Thank you for letting us pet your pup. It's me. About 40 pounds ago. <laughs> My face still looks the same. Well, so we got we got Lil Veda here, and we got uh, Mike Speedball Bailey. Mike Speedball Bailey. That's a good picture. Of we you got know. Speedball Mike Bailey. That's a good picture of you. That is a good. This picture. is an like amazing picture. picture of me. Unfortunately. Um, I was going fucking through it in this photo. <laughs> Things are starting to warm up. Getting going. People coming in. Also set up my, cause we're, we're vlogging the fan, fan jam as well. I almost call it fan fest. It's fan jam. I did it last night as well. You hold it? Oh, please, thank you. All right, you got a whole crew? Yeah, okay. So, what do you think so far? Oh, so hold on, let me start. Oh, sorry, yeah. Did you go die? No. I don't know where you're with them. Like, it's Scott and Mike Bell. What do you think? Oh, man. There's puppies. I thought you were going to say part of the puppies. There's puppies here. Dogs. Maybe dogs. Not, not puppies, but. No, no, not puppies. Jerry Lawler said. But Who is literal, not here? Literal. Who is not here? As How is he not here? I don't know that he does appearances anymore. Why not? Well, because there's no puppies. <laughs> there's puppies like baby dogs, not puppies right. like puppies. Yeah. Anyway, there's puppies here, so we're happy. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. The puppy was on the ground. Uh -huh. He was walking. Baby. Should call this dog jam. Uh, if it was called dog jam, I would be here for free. <laughs> so you ordered two medium. I ordered two medium iced coffee. One black for you, and mine I ordered an unsweetened blueberry shot and one Splenda. And then when the coffee was given to me, the little thing on it said blueberry shot, and it said five Splenda, and you could see like a inch high layer of like undissolved sucralose at the bottom and I was like oh I'm sorry nothing against sucralose by the way I love it uh, it was recently put on the like could possibly as aspartame could possibly cause cancer list by the WHO I think it's aspartame uh, I, I don't know I think it's kind of all artificial sweeteners but <laughs> The, that doesn't mean anything because it could potentially cause casters co like encompasses an incredible range of foods that's like might possibly in some universe cause cancer because it turns out if you give rats 
50 tons of aspartame every single day, they get cancer. But there have been no human trials. So yeah, sorry, please keep going. I was actually telling a story. Yes, I don't yes, remember yes. the conclusion of it now. Five inches of Splenda at the bottom. Yeah, so I was like, oh, uh, sorry. I just, I wanted the blueberry shot at one Splenda. And the, <laughs> the person who handed it to me was just kind of like standing there like blinking at me. And, and I said, so I'm sorry, but could you please remake it? And she said, are you sure? And then I thought about it, and I was like, maybe this is something on the Dunkin' Donuts hidden menu that I don't know. Maybe all of that Splenda actually is delicious. But I, I did insist that it get remade, because I didn't want to have to chew my coffee this morning. Are you sure? Are you sure? I love that. Like, we, I, I understand that you are not paid enough to remake me a coffee, but also we kind of need the coffee remade. This one's fine. Both in the balloon battle royal. Oh yeah, and, and the teddy bear battle royal too. Is there a teddy bear battle? There's a teddy bear battle royal. Is that a real thing it's that's a real happening? Thing. It's a real Holy thing. heck! Yeah, we were in the the chicken eating uh, battle royal, but I don't think that's today. That's racist. The, the battle bog. Yeah, totally. The battle oh, the battle bog. No, the battle bog. It was, was a real. Yeah, yeah, were yeah. you at the battle bog? I was there. I was there. Were you? No. Oh. No, no it was a real thing. There was a. It was a. Simultaneous, it was organized by, what's his name, Early Morning Guy Steel. Yeah, yep, love that. It was a simultaneous Royal Rumble slash chicken wing eating contest. You could win the Royal Rumble if you go eat a hundred wings during the match. I would have won. I would have won. Yeah. I would have won that in a heartbeat. I've been eating chicken my whole life. I got annoyed and walked out. That was my thing. I came in, he I did. kicked everyone in the head, <laughs> I hit my I'm finisher. I'm done with this. <laughs> yes. I'm no, oh, Legit. we need to talk, by the way. You and I. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Do we got heat? Yes, we have we got heat. Poutine. I went to your side of town. So, I'm sorry. Putin. Putin. Yes, thank you. Really? Putin. You know what's crazy? I was told it was Putin I had no and clue. not to say Putin. I had no clue. By who? Putin. Putin? Uh, by people that were up there with me. By French speaking people? No. Aha! No. There we no. go. Okay, no. so here's Very the much no Americans. number one thing about Putin is it's from one, Quebec, not Canada, okay. not Ontario. I definitely was in Toronto. You I definitely was, were in Toronto. And I was not happy. Okay. So, well, yeah, there, like I saw the Putin and I was- You seen it, I know, you said it was terrible looking. Yes. Yes. So there's a lot of components that make a Putin, right? That are all very important. It's a little bit, I don't want to like make comparisons because it's unfair, okay. but sashimi, yeah. okay. right? Okay. Okay. There's okay. one ingredient, it's a piece of fish. Yep. And you and cut and it yep. right, yep. you got to do right. it right, that's it. There's one ingredient. So Putin, 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 three ingredients. Cheese curds. Yes. Gravy. Yes. Fresh fries. Yes. But you got to do it right. You got to do it right. Brother. I was so upset. The, one of the components that make Putin what it is, okay. is the contrast between the cold cheese and the warm fries. And so if, for example, you put the cheese under the fries, the gravy on top of that, wrap it up, let it sit for a while, okay. and then serve it, that's not the way to do it. Purpose. Not getting right. Yeah, does it have to be fries, fries, cheese, yeah. gravy? Correct. Once again, a piece of sushi, right? The rice room temperature, yes. the fish body temperature. That's very, oh. there's a lot of documentation okay. behind that. Yeah. And if I serve, like, that's why convenience store sushi is not as good. You just refrigerate the whole thing, not a temperature look. goes down, right? Puts in three ingredients, but a lot of rules. When I come to Quebec, you will be taking me for proper Putin. See that, guys? Hair to hair. Before this, I went to see uh, Jack Carver with Cardi Barbaro and I did a very long rant about Putin. Very okay. long. You got, you got a line, a cue here, buddy. Dick Dynamo? Yeah, it is. Hi there, Dick Dynamo, trivia right here. You think you can measure up? Yeah. I don't think so. 160 IQ, smarter than everybody else. Yeah. I don't know what any of that meant. Dynamo runs the show. Speaking of the show, there's the show. It's the balloon battle royal happening. Okay. So it's pretty much time for us to go. 
So we're gonna wrap it up here and head on down to Prestige. Head on up to Prestige. Head on. Geographically, it's up. North. Uh, well, we're gonna head on forward to Prestige. Okay. Prestige, right? Yeah, fuck Prestige. Fuck prestige, what do I hear? Oh man. Drove all the way out here just to hear Alan Angels talking crap about prestige. But yeah, my match is up next. I'll get ready. We'll go. Woo!
sitting like this for the vlogs, but the problem is it's very unflattering. You look great. Oh, thank you. No, you look great. You looked great when I was bent over and I was looking you eye to eye. It was so romantic. It was, so we had... A couple moments. A, a very romantic, extremely sexually charged match. Almost like that, what's that one tag team on Impact? Like they have chains and stuff, it's really weird. Was the name's Red Alert? MK something. MK Mega Cell Average, I don't know. I don't know, something something. But yeah, no, that was a... Uh, I'm glad that finally happened as a singles match. This is our fourth time in the ring together, I think. Fifth? Fourth, I think. Fourth, there was... Tag match, scramble. G GCW scramble. Yep. Uh, ETU four way. Yes. Tag, yeah, and now this, but yeah. the first singles, which uh, I apologize for dropping you right on your head. I don't think you do, because you won the match. I, I kind of don't know. <laughs> I kind of kicked you a couple times. You did, you, so I you think did. We're working pretty even. I think know? we hit each other pretty hard. I think you broke my back, apparently. No! <laughs> At least I, I'm not responsible for this. No, no, this is, that no. Was no this? It, was all, it was all him. A stitch popped oh, out, it was amazing. Right? Oh. But yeah, nice power pack to work, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, you're very welcome. <laughs> the, so, the way I bounced off of you <laughs> for the ultimate weapon is absolutely something that has never happened before. I'm very bendy, though. You are very bendy, <laughs> yeah. But the, so the last time I hit it in the tag match, I remember it feeling great. I think yes. I did the old like roll off. I think so, yes. And this time I did, which I'm only able to do with like big guys, like Ben Ortmans and Brian Cage <laughs> are like pe big. This name is named Ben. Big, big yeah. Ben Ortmans is, and Brian Cage is like people who I can like three quarter roll off of. But I've never like stood and then bounced off of my feet. That was crazy. Um, like it's. I, my, um, I've done a couple slow-mo matches where like I had to do like a slow-mo German and stuff So it's all the way slow and people I was doing like Brandon Kirk. Yeah, and these people were like how I'm like I don't know like so when you did that to me. I was like I got you <laughs> you were like post as hard as you can I got you. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh It was it was beautiful. Yep. That was uh, everything I'd hoped and more. Roseland. Thank you my friend. See you there. Roseland. We have to